disaster recovery plans throughout the the week. Um, you know, and, and this is a whole uh, whole big conversation that we could have. Uh, but we went in and talked about you know the the Hurricane Milton this week and had some some pretty good uh, conversations about that. Uh, and in whenever we're going through and looking at the disaster recovery plan, uh, just a reminder that you know you, you need to to do a business impact analysis um, and a risk assessment to be able to put yourself in a position where you can start to um, get back to normal operations. Just as a review here, we covered this earlier on in risk management, but I'm just gonna uh, remind you again, the recovery point objective, recovery point objective, last time the organization backed up the hardware services and applications, recovery time objective, this is uh, the time needed to restore those services, and then the maximum tolerable downtime, the point at which the continued to service is, will lead to negative impact. And so how do these all relate? Well, it's shown on the screen right here, um, you know, when, when that actually will happen and, and why it's important. So at a high level, understand that. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to, to talk to you about in this particular domain is specifically about redundancy and fault tolerance. And so for purposes of your exam, what you might see is uh, different types of RAID, different types of RAID, uh, and some, some other things like backups as well. And so um, what are the most popular ones that we see on the exam? Well, they're shown on the screen right here different types of redundant array of inexpensive disk, the RAID. I'm not talking about the uh, the bug killer here, right? The, uh, the roach killer or whatever uh, the bug killers are, the RAID, the can of spray. But, uh, you know, ways that we can uh, have redundancy and fault tolerance with a way that we can, you know, hopefully back up things for us. So uh, these are the most common. Usually, usually we either see a question on RAID 5 or RAID 10, which is a combination of RAID 1 and RAID 0 equals RAID 10. Let's go through and talk about these real quick. So RAID 0 is striping volumes and it maps multiple drives into a physical drive. Why is that important? Well, it gives us some pretty good benefits, but it doesn't give us fault tolerance. And so if somebody's using RAID 0, if one of the drives goes down, oh, uh -oh. Uh, all of the data is lost. And so a lot of times people don't just use RAID 0, but uh, it's RAID 0 is striped volume writing and reading. And if, you know, one of the, the drives goes down, um, you know, you lose all the information. Whereas RAID 1 is creating a mirror, creating a mirror of that. Uh, this is it, it, a lot of decent benefits here and it gives you the fault tolerance uh, because literally it's a carbon copy of itself right it's a mirror uh, but the drawback is is that you only get 50 percent capacity in that regard and so you know people um, decided to to say well you know what if we were to put the best of both worlds together and uh, you know, combine RAID 1 and RAID 0, where it could give you a striping with mirrors. That's right. I deliberately did that. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm proud of you, Micah, for, for recognizing that here at the, the end of the week, in the final hours. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, 
what we can do <laughs> is uh, we can we can set it up, and it's a multi-tier here, right? We can set it up as a RAID zero, and then do RAID one in between. But you need four disk to make this thing happen, right? And the downside is you only get 50% capacity. But the upside is whoopa! you get full fault tolerance and error checking. So, you know, you got to kind of uh, take the good with the bad. And then the last one here for RAID is this RAID 5, RAID 5, which is one of the more common ones that we see used in practice. Now, if you've never done this before, if you've never used RAID, um, most of the time it's software based. So you don't even have to do anything. You just, you know, you, you you tell the SAN or the NAS that you want to set it up in a way and it'll go off and, and do it all by itself. Um, so keep keep that in mind. But one of the more common ones that we do or that we see is uh, the block striping with this thing that's called parity. Block striping with parity. And, and if you've never seen this before, check it out. You need at least three drives for this, at least three drives. And uh, on each drive, you have one of the blocks here is for parity. So in disk one, I highlighted it. In disk two, I highlighted it. Disk three, I highlighted it. In disk four, I highlighted it. Uh, why is that? Well, let's say that, uh, let's say that number one crashes on you. Well, if number one crashes on you, you have number two, or if numbers, if disc zero crashes on you, you have disc one and disc two available to rebuild disk three, right? So disk one and disk two could build disk three because there's, there's, there's just basically a holder for A on disk three, right? So check it out. If two of these go down, and this is where it comes in handy. If two of these go down, Let's say disk three goes down for whatever reason, somehow, some way, two of these go down. Well, what could happen here is disk two could rebuild disk one and disk one could rebuild disk two because there's that block that is just sitting there waiting just in case. And then essentially you have these two that are you know, in the sum of the whole, you could pull data to be able to rebuild each other, or you, you could have in totality the ability to just, you know, look for disk two for anything dealing with C and look for disk one for anything dealing with B. And so that's why you, you have this thing that's called striping with parity, just for redundancy and fault tolerance, uh, to give you that peace of mind that if you, you know, you have 100 terabyte data, uh, an EMC squared cloud SAN, um, you know, you can, you can set it up in a way that that's meaningful.